What is up guys? I'm Brie K with Airbit and in this video I'm going to give you the complete guide to Google Analytics and Facebook pixel tracking. So what is Google Analytics? Google Analytics allows you to track and collect data on users' interactions with your website. The collected data is sorted and formed into interactive reports for you, which allows you to optimize your marketing strategy. Google Analytics is available with both the gold and platinum producer packages to track your HTML5 and Infinity stores. If you are new to Google Analytics, we recommend you learning the basics and setting up your account. Once you've done that and you're ready to integrate your Google Analytics account with your Airbit HTML5, HTML5 and Infinity stores, follow these steps. First, copy the tracking code from your Google Analytics account into your HTML coding on your website. Copy this code onto every page you want to track. Go to Dashboard, Music Stores, Analytics Tracking. Copy your tracking ID and default URL that you've specified in the property settings. These can be found in your Google Analytics admin section under property settings. Paste the tracking ID and website URL where your music store is embedded on Airbit dashboard, music stores, analytics tracking. Click save. Once your code has been generated, copy it onto every page where you are displaying your music store. With Google Analytics now incorporated into your website, you can track almost everything that your visitors are doing when using your HTML5 and Infinity music stores. In your Google Analytics account in Behavior, then Events, you'll be able to see what your visitors are doing when using your music store. This includes beats being added to the cart, plays, shares, etc. You can also keep an eye on your conversions in the conversion section. This will show you how many visitors are actually converting into paying customers, giving you valuable information to help you improve your business. You will need to enable e-commerce in your Google Analytics settings to receive sales data. To do this, in the View column, select e-commerce settings. Click the Enable e-commerce toggle on. Click Save. And now let's talk about Facebook pixel tracking. So what is a Facebook pixel? A Facebook pixel is a code embedded on your website to help you track sales conversions from Facebook ads. Whenever you make a sale, we'll use your Facebook pixel to send you a message to your Facebook account notifying you of the sale. This is useful because it allows you to evaluate which Facebook ads are working so that you can create better ads in the future and target your audience more accurately. To learn more about Facebook Pixel and how to create one, we recommend visiting Facebook's Business Help Center and searching Facebook Pixel. Once you've done that and created a Facebook Pixel, follow these steps. You'll need to extract the Pixel ID from the code that Facebook provides you and enter it into Airbit Dashboard, Music Stores, Analytics Tracking. The same steps apply to the HTML5 and Infinity Store tracking. Your pixel ID can be found here. Currently, only conversions are tracked, but other event tracking will be added soon. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, or feel free to join our Discord group and leave them in the chat. And if you made it this far into the video, I think it's safe to say that you kind of liked it, so please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please go ahead and click subscribe, and please also go ahead and click that bell so that you can be notified every time we post a video like this that is helpful to artists and producers like you. Again, I'm Brie K with Airbit. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.